Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll show you how to build a fire pit. I'll be building one right here in my backyard. So today I want to build a round fire pit that is half underground and I have a whole bunch of bricks that were stacked up in the backyard of this house when I bought it and I purchased three bags of cement and two bags of mortar that I'll be using to build this fire pit. Now the bricks that I have they're all really old and a bunch of different sizes so it might be a little tricky to get it to fit just right. I'm right now spraying the outline of the fire pit so I know where to dig and these bricks like I said are really old so I want the style of it to match the bricks as well. I want the fire pit to be down about six to eight inches so it's going to take several of these wheelbarrow loads to empty out the hole. I'm dumping the dirt over a little hill in my backyard. It's quite steep, so this dirt will help level it out a little bit. But I want to make sure that I leave at least a wheelbarrow full of dirt so when I'm done building this fire pit, I have some dirt to backfill it around and clean up the area. So now that I have the hole all dug, I need to go mix some cement to pour into the bottom. These are just regular 50 pound bags of cement that I picked up from Lowe's near my house. I will use two of these bags and this should be plenty for the base of the fire pit. You don't want to make this cement too wet because you're going to have to wait for it to set up a little bit before you build the brick wall around the outside. So I'm going to make my cement pretty dry so it'll set up faster. Now I'm just going to dump it right in and spread it around. I'm going to grab my trowel and try to level it off as best as I can. You want to make sure it's pretty level because this is the base you'll be starting to build the wall off of. And if you start on level at the bottom, it'll be really hard to correct as you go up. Now I'm just going to let the cement set for about an hour before I start building. The cement has set for an hour now, so I'm going to mix up the mortar to continue building. With mortar, it's important that you don't make it too wet or too dry. You want it just dry enough that it holds its shape when you put it in a certain place, and then also you want it just wet enough to be sticky so it sticks to the bricks and holds on to it. And you'll see here, I keep adding a little bit of water at a time. It's better to have this cement too dry than too wet because you can always add more water, but you can't take it back out. You'll want to lay down the bricks first before you cement them down, just so then you maintain the shape of the fire pit that you want. Once you have the shape set, you can start adding the cement brick by brick. You want to place enough cement down so when you put the brick down, it squeezes out a little bit of cement around the edges. That way you know the crack has been filled up. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering what the difference is between the two cement bags that I used, the base has rocks in it, so it's just a regular sidewalk cement. Um, but this mortar I'm using for the brick, it's smooth so it doesn't get stuck in the cracks. That's what you'll need for doing any sort of brick work. The edge right here was starting to cave in a little bit on the brick, so I want to just clean that out before it falls in completely.
Now I'm going to backfill this hole. You want to make sure you don't pack down this dirt or else you will risk moving the bricks. I'm just loosely laying it in there to help hold its shape while it dries. And later when it's dry, you can pack down the dirt. I want to add another layer of bricks on the top to give it a little more height, but I want it to look a little bit different than just the flat bricks. So I'm going to break these bricks in half and tilt them up on end around the edge. And I'm using right here just a regular hammer. It's a flat claw hammer, so if you use the claws on the back, you can chip the brick away and split it in half fairly easily. Now the bricks that I have are really old, and none of them are the same shape so I don't really mind that they're just broken in half roughly um, you can use also like a wet cement saw to cut through these uh, if you really want them clean and precise but that's not really the look I was going for here so breaking in half worked well I'm now mixing up my second bag of mortar it's a good idea not to mix all that you have at once it might start to set up too much especially if it's a hot sunny day and you'll end up wasting some cement. Sorry about the noise in the background. My neighbor has a whole bunch of goats. I'm not actually in the country, but my neighbor seems to think so. Um, he's got a whole bunch of goats back there, and they just make noise constantly, so sorry about that. It saves a lot of time and a whole lot easier if you add the cement to the brick before you lay it down, especially when there's all these gaps like on this top row. If you put the cement on there, you squeeze it in between the two bricks, it seals it all up.
in hindsight, I would suggest keeping your hands back and away from the hammer. Some of these breaks can be a little unpredictable and my thumb just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. When the hammerhead went through the brick suddenly, the handle pinned my thumb up against the brick. So even though my hand was far away from where I was hitting, it still ended up getting pinched. I'm using a tool that smooths out the cement in the joints and cleans up all the edges. I have some extra mortar and the base isn't dry yet so I'm going to just throw in whatever I have left and smooth it out and get a good finish on the base. I'm also taking a little bit of water and just lightly sprinkling the cement and this loosens it up and helps it to smooth out a little bit easier. Hey guys, it's been two days now since building this and the cement's dry now. I'm just going to build a fire in here, test it out, see how it works. It just rained yesterday, so this wood is wet and does not want to burn. So I'm trying to use the torch to get it started, and it will eventually start, but it takes a little while. So a couple things I wanted to point out before this gets too hot. I purposefully dug this down into the ground. I wanted to get the flame down a little bit lower, and when you're roasting marshmallows or hot dogs, you can get away from the flame, and I had a a little bit of worries that if it rains this would end up flooding down here because it is buried down in the ground so these joints down at the bottom these bricks the bottom two rows I purposely didn't put any cement in those so that the water will have a way to escape hopefully I won't have any trouble with flooding or anything like that and it'll all drain smoothly so I absolutely love building this I love the way it turned out and I'm sure we'll really enjoy being able to be out here by a campfire, enjoying the fall weather, and maybe having some friends over. 
I hope to eventually finish this off by building a patio around this, but for now this finishes off my video for today. Once again guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button down below or share with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.